If you're looking to upgrade your PC or PS5 storage, the 990 Pro M.2 drive is the top of its class and boasts an impressive improvement in read-write speeds over previous iterations. Over the past few months, we've been seeing M.2 SSDs break through the 7000 megabit per second barrier, and now it's Samsung's turn. But is it worth the upgrade? Let's take a look. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to enable notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So, Samsung just announced their 990 Pro M.2 drive last month, which comes in 1TB and 2TB options currently, with 4TB coming next year. You do have the option of a heatsink or not, which I would definitely recommend if you're planning on putting this in your PS5. It meets the height requirements that Sony recommends, so it's ready to be installed right out of the box. Back in July, I upgraded my PS5 with the 980 Pro, so check that out if you need a tutorial. First, let's get pricing out of the way. At launch, 1TB is $169 and 2TB is $289, and the heatsink versions will cost you $20 extra with each model. This is steeper than some competitors for the same amount of storage, but recent models have come down in price the months after release, so keep an eye out for discounts. I have the 2TB without a heatsink with me here, and right off the bat they're claiming 7450 megabit per second read speed, definitely an improvement over the 980 Pro's 7000 megabit per second. And on their website, they'll claim you'll get 40 to 55% faster random read write speeds than the 980 Pro. In fact, their reported IOPS are slightly higher than any other brand. So most of the competitors around this range are around 7300, so 7450 is definitely hitting the upper limit of PCIe Gen 4. While competitors have had SSDs over the 7000 megabit per second range for a few months, this is Samsung's first competitor to drives like WD Black's SN850X. Seagate's Firecuda 530, and Kingston's KC3000. Also, just a note, these all require PCIe Gen 4 compatibility, just like the 980 Pro. I'm working with an X570 motherboard, so we're good there. But check with your manufacturer to make sure you're ready to take full advantage of these blistering speeds and endless victory. Now, after you install, will you magically start winning your Overwatch 2 matches? No, you need the RGB version for that. But will you load in faster to the Hero Select screen to Insulock Widow? Defeat! Also no, they fixed that a few years ago. But you might be able to tell the difference when you fast travel in an open world game or boot up your computer, if you're used to HDD or SATA speeds. All in all, the jump from those storage options to an M.2 drive are going to be what makes a difference, not from one M.2 drive to a slightly faster one. So here's a speed test between the 990 Pro and a Gen 3 Kingston SNVS 500G, which has a speed of 2100 megabit per second and takes around 8 seconds slower than the 990 Pro. So as you can see, that generational gap is much bigger than going from Gen 4 to Gen 4. So in reality, a 3 to 4 time faster megabit per second rate only results in about 8 seconds. One aspect that does set Samsung apart is the Magician software. If you need secure encryption or secure erase, they have you covered here. You can transfer data between SSDs, run diagnostics and benchmarks, and check that you're up to date with firmware and drivers. It's a nice touch that isn't exactly necessary with every SSD you get, but gives you greater control over your storage. So what does this all mean for you? We are on the precipice of widespread PCIe Gen 5 M.2 adoption in consumer markets. If you don't know, without getting too technical, the transfer rate doubles every generation. So we're working with Gen 4, which is around 16 gigatransfer per second. Gen 5 is around 32 gigatransfer per second. The past year, we've seen announcements from Nvidia, Intel, and AMD supporting Gen 5 in certain consumer components, so it's on the horizon. What this means is that we're hitting the limit of Gen 4 read and write speeds. So if you know you're locked in, the 990 Pro is one of the best SSDs you can get from a dependable brand. I highly doubt you'll be able to notice a difference between this and comparable competition, especially if you're a gamer. So the real decision comes down to the reliability, software additions like cloning and data migration, and warranty, all of which set Samsung apart and have for years. They're also vertically integrated, so everything on the drive they make themselves. They don't cheap out on certain components. You also can take advantage of the massive improvement in performance per watt, which I've said is 50% better than the 980 Pro. All in all, if you're due for an upgrade in the near future and can wait a year or so, like if you're running a 980 Pro, then I would definitely suggest waiting. 
It may be slightly faster, but you aren't going to see noticeable improvements in your games. Some content creators that are mega tuned into their storage might notice, but I highly doubt most will. The 990 Pro is available for pre-order on Samsung's website right now and launches later this month. If you're watching this before November 20th, they're also giving away five Samsung Odyssey Arc monitors when you pre-order if you're into that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave us a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want more videos like this. This is Dom with 9to5Toys.